Hey guys, welcome back to another live game. QMJ, today we're playing some Nidalee Jungle, Dark Harvest, Nidalee Jungle, all the rage in the clear and solo queue. Also in EU, I'm seeing it a lot. Just pretty strong right now. And we're going to be playing it and showing you a little bit how to play Nidalee because she's a bit of a tricky champion. Definitely wouldn't recommend first timing her in ranked because she has some... I mean, she's a bit hard to play, honestly. So, uh, yeah. Watch this video, take her into some normal games, try her out and have some fun playing Dark Harvest because that is the most important thing about this build. Not only is it absolutely disgustingly strong, but it's really fun as well to play. Oh my goodness, that was a misclick. Show my runes in a sec, guys, but just firstly, we're going to go a bot side leash into the Gromp. Single target clears, really good for Nidalee. And then go into this scuttle crab. Now the problem with scuttle crab, guys, is that it takes a long ass time to kill if you're playing Nidalee. Oh, I'm in trouble here, boys. I'm dead. Oh, that sucks. I thought I no, I failed that. I failed that so hard. Okay, second problem with Ooh. second problem with scuttle crab is that. <laughs> takes you so long to kill if you run into the enemy jungle like you're in a bit of a pickle. I used to use a splash there. Alright, we're just making things interesting for us guys. No problemo. He's running probably to his top side here. Don't think he's going to be going mid lane. Oof, that's not a good start boys. And I need to make sure I don't get invaded by the Rengar. Maybe I should have gone top side actually for this top side crab. Alright. Now, if Rengar's smart, he'll know I have no flash, no summoners, and he can invade me. So, I just want to make sure that doesn't happen. Put that down. Put this down. There he is. So, yeah. All good. Go here. Just a bit behind the curve here, but it's okay. One of the cool things about playing Dark Harvest is that you get... Uh, Good scaling as the game goes on, just because Dark Harvest is Dark Harvest. So even if things don't go your way early, it's not the end of the world. Nice. Alright, kill these chickens and I'll show you my runes. <laughs> Very nice. Alright. You can see him, the bottom of your screen there, guys. Dark Harvest is obviously the standard. And then Sudden Impact, which gives you penetration whenever you jump. Eyeball Collection for damage. Relentless Hunter for move speed. And just standard celerity water walking. Not really too much to digest there with that build. Just standard stuff, honestly. I'll take these Krogs, and then I'll go back to my bot sides because that's where I started my jungle clear. So that's what's up. And I will be doing my best here just to farm a little bit. Before Runic Echoes, it's a bit tricky, honestly, on Nidalee, if you're doing your jungle clears. It's a bit slow, it's a bit sluggish playing Nidalee. She's actually decent at this stage of the game, but she's so much easier to play once you get Runic Echoes. So, especially if you're not uh, too experienced with Nidalee. Uh, the best thing to do really is just uh, farm early, get Runic Echoes, and then you can actually do stuff later on. Alright, now I'm going to want to go bot side here. Do Grump into bot lane gank. Maybe do a bot gank first with my red buff. These guys are pushing out kind of far, and they shouldn't have summoners since they fought early on. So, we'll look into that one. Rise is also an okay gank because of his rune prison. The only thing is that this bot side crab is spawning. Uh, and Rengar will most likely want to secure that. But either way, we're just going to come in here. We're going to ping it. Ping. Jump in. Got the red buff. Beautiful. That's two kills for us. They do get one, but it could be worse. 
will help Trisana push this one out a bit here. I'm not going to attack the counter minion because that's BM, but I am going to take the Dark Harvest Sack from it. And that's all mine. Uh, and I really want to try and go for this crab, but I don't know whether Rengar's here. And he should be around this area. So yeah, he really wants me here. to run down here. Am I actually dead again? God damn it. <sighs> I shouldn't have gone in for that one. I got baited a bit there, didn't I, guys? It's okay. Steady on, Foxy. Steady on. I think I was kind of thinking that it was a 2v1, which it was, but for some reason just Forgot that, you know, the enemy team is a thing. And they'll be coming up there. So two city deaths. Really unnecessary, honestly. No reason to die in those situations. It does not achieve anything. Well, obviously. But me just being in that area did not achieve anything. So, just no point. Sloppy stuff, guys. This is why you always got to think things through. If I really thought about it... Oh my goodness, I bought the wrong item, didn't I? Oh, I got the old Runekeko's item. Oh my god. I'm so triggered. I, fortunately, this builds into Lich Bane, which is what we're going to go for a second. So it's not fully wasted. It is pretty crap, don't get me wrong. But it could be worse. Got an assist. Make sure we get that Dark Harvest sack. <laughs> nice, and a kill. Good stuff. Really good stuff. <sighs> Alright. Can't believe I did that. So bad. And now 1600 gold off my Runic Echoes still. But things are going okay. Honestly, if I hadn't just suicided to Rengar twice, this game would be fine. But hey, we've got to keep it interesting. Wouldn't it be a full shot video without a few inting deaths, would it? Do you think this matchup is a bit tricky? If you run it into Rengar? Uh, he's, he's pretty strong. Nidhi usually is pretty good at invading. Maybe this is just my, like, ignorance on the matchup, but... I tend to struggle versus Rengars. Because he does have good early damage and... Just really squishy. Maybe it's like a skill matchup though. You, you never know. Could be a skill matchup. Like for the Nidalee. I would need some skill to outplay him, which I don't have. So hey, maybe that's why I think it's a bad matchup. Right, now Rengar hasn't used his ultimate yet. And he will want to. It's a pretty big cooldown. So, it's unlikely he's going to want to hold on to it for too long. Probably should have recalled here, because I'm going to spend a lot of time running anyway. But I'm going to go for another bot side gank. Let's camp these guys, shall we? Face checking bushes like no tomorrow. The bot lane has no vision here, so I'm just going to ping. Oh, there's Rengar. He's going for it. Yeah. Ooh. I, uh, next, please. I don't. I felt that pain. Why did I not get that? Oh, I just spawned. Well, Rengar is around bot side, but he's not quite here yet. There he is. He is here now. So I'm mostly here to stop a, a dive. On the 
I can get some red buffs off here. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Worth. <laughs> Give the old cheeky thumbs up. No. <laughs> Come on, Tristana, mate. Shouldn't I die there? Wait, I had 600 gold. Oh, my lordy. Alright. Do I want to go Sorks this game? I think I can do Sorks this game. Hmm. Lucidity. You know what? I'm actually just going to do Lucidity. Ninja Tabby would be decent here as well. But, meh. Probably just goes on his side or something like that. Beautiful. I jumped right into something I did not want to jump into there. Rengar's coming in as well. He's probably coming from this side, so I'm just going to run away like this. That works out pretty well for us, though. I think I may have got greedy with my heal there. She does so much damage. It's probably just with the sheen is actually incredible. Oh, she's going Triforce. Okay. Oh, I'm totally him. That's a bait, mate. Get him! Ah. Oh man, I was oom. Um, that sucks. Okay, it's okay though. Could be worse. All right. Can I wait here for my sheen? I think I'm going to get it anyway before I respawn. That's cool. Give me some mana as well. My bot side jungle's up. I'm at 100 stacks of my Dark Harvest, which is pretty good, honestly, for this stage of the game. I've been involved in a lot of a lot of plays, got a lot of kills, uh, and been in lanes, which means I can take counter minions as well, which is nice. But Serengar is going to be a problem now. And I'm definitely going to need a Zonius this game. Which in hindsight means maybe I could have gone for like a uh, stopwatch second, like uh, inspiration secondary for the stopwatch. Let's see if I can get Kaisa here though, she's bot side by herself. is interesting. <sighs> Yo, if that tongue had hit me, I was dead. Right, so I'm guessing it's warded right there or something. This is good, this is good. Nice. More importantly, Dark Harvest stack. Whoops, that was not meant to be on myself. Rengar should not have jumped in here. He's got a huge shutdown. Even if he goes one for one, that's not worth. Actually, he doesn't have a huge shutdown. Never mind, he already died. I forgot about that. We killed him as well. How could I forget that? Holy moly. Alright, that's fine though. That's fine. 138 Dark Harvest stacks. This kind of is going to get me some as well. Very nice, boys. Very nice. 
really close. So the magic number for Dark Harvest is 150, right? Because right now, I only get Dark Harvest when I like kill something, like a counter minion or like a jungle monster. But when I reach 150 stacks, it lasts with me for a really long time. It lasts for like five minutes or something. So it's like guaranteed damage. Whereas right now it's it's kind of like lasting, I don't know, like it's really low. But now I've got the 150. So I do a lot of damage now. Got the Dark Harvest, Whistle Weird. Getting that 50 minutes is actually pretty ridiculous. Normally I'm happy with it at like 25 minutes. Definitely getting greedy here. I think we shouldn't be here. I'm on a lot of gold as well. How much is Lich Pain? I can afford Lich Pain. Wow, I did not know Vega Cage would interrupt that. Well, I suck, but she's dead. How much was that shutdown? Please don't say it was a huge shutdown. Four fifty. That's fine. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go. We'll get. We'll get ads on his next. Oof, I'm gonna be CDR capped when I get this on his as well, which is really nice. Look at my deaths. Five deaths, guys. Five deaths. It's way too much. Way too much. I think we've actually had a relatively decent game to an extent. Uh, but just way too many deaths. We have died just over and over again. I had two really early deaths, which sucked. Uh, and I mean, honestly, outside of that, it's not been awful. But yeah. Anywho, my Dark Harvest has already done one thousand damage, and this is at, this is at the point in the game where Dark Harvest is weak, mind you. We have full assassin mode soon as well. Which is always nice. Did someone just ward that? Oh my crazy. I really need his onions. Holy moly, these guys are crazy. I'm gonna get three Dark Harvest sacks here, guys. Well, in total, I'm gonna get like I don't actually know how many. Champ a champion plus two cannon minions, guys. It's so juicy. You're playing this little mini game with yourself to see how many blooming sacks you can get. I love it when I can play with myself. Weird place for the Herald to go down. Look at that 400 damage to the tower as well. Milordi. Are they not actually going to push with that Herald? They're just going to put it down? Alright, that's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, but it's fine. Alright, let's throw our potions here so we can make room for some control wards. Control wards are important, guys, and as nearly especially, we don't really need potions. As the game goes on, at least you don't really need potions. Can you see it with yourself? Beautiful stuff. All right, give me a give me a jungle camp, and then I will will go for dragon. I will say thank you, even though they're mine. I will say thank you because that gets me level thirteen, and it refreshes my dark harvest here. So my next attack is going to be doing how much bonus damage right here? Is it just one hundred? No. Wait a tick. How much is it? Bonus damage is 100 plus that. So I'm going to be doing basically 300 damage on hit here. Which, you, when you combine it with the fact that I actually have Sheen, like I actually have like an on hit in that sense, 
It's a really crazy combo. So if I land a spear, and then I jump in on someone, they just basically die. KS there, but <laughs> whatever. Of course, we decide this would be a good time to fight. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Yo, this poppy is disgusting. I'm actually trolling. Holy moly. <laughs> no one saw that. It's fine. That's fine. She doesn't actually... I thought she got on Triforce. She generally just has Frozen Fist. That's, that's actually vile that she does that. Oh man, I'm so close to my Zonia's. It's fine. We'll just get more awards. See, it's funny, alright? Rengar's com complaining about this uh, Kaisa trolling, even though she just decided to split push. Which I don't, it, you know what? I don't think that's necessarily her trolling, but I do think it's suboptimal. <laughs> I played versus him last game, and he got a free win. He shot me this game, but I was bloody ahead of him because one of my geezers decided to go AFK. Have fun with free win. Guess we even know. The low gods. Oh. Alright. Good stuff. Gonna heal the Poppy here because she's a bit low, but I could also heal Tristana because of the attack speed that my heal gives. Probably would have been a better idea, I mean. Like, Poppy isn't low. Have fun, Foxy. You're so bad, but you still win. <laughs> Why is he bearing me? Last game. <sighs> We've got to get a little bit of cheeky bounce in there. Right, so. What do I want to go after this? Honestly, tempted just to go uh, Morello's here. I don't think it's particularly good. Uh, particularly good option here. Might just go Voids. You know what? I don't bloody know. Let's just go Wards. I'll, I'll go Death Cap. I'll go Death Cap or something. There are lots of different... Honestly, if you play in Elite, you can do a lot of different stuff on her. Rod of Ages is a good choice, but you have to get that a bit earlier. You can go Dark Seal if you want to. Voice Staff's a good choice. Rallies is a good choice. Morales is okay. Uh, Death Cap is good. Oh, God. Oh no. Leave me alone. Alright. That was uh, not good. We just lost three people. I actually might go Abyssal Mask here, get a bit of tankiness. Damn it. Claw or spear, your ends the same. 
Yeah. Have you seen how peaceful my chat's been, by the way, since I muted my bot lane? I actually think as a jungler, that is a really good strategy. Just generally, just mute your bot lane. Vanguard is under. I don't know where he is. Should really be hitting Rise here, shouldn't I? I didn't actually mention Athens, by the way, is a good choice, but that is definitely something you can go as well. Oh my lordy. What a combo. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> BG NWP. <laughs> wow. That's a bit extreme. Oh dear. Well, we did it. We did it. I'm gonna give a cheeky honor to uh, to the poppy there. I think poppy deserves it. I don't know what she drunk. What she drunk for breakfast? That's not the phrase, is it? But whatever, it's close enough. I don't know what she drunk for breakfast, but she just was insane. Very nice. So the, I thought I was telling you guys that one of my guys was trolling last game when Rengar was on the enemy team, and look, I just got an instant feedback report. Good. That's what you get. How do I have the most gold in the game? Wow, and I had that much damage? I actually had the highest damage in the game. Sorry, I am 90 damage off of the highest damage in the game. How? It must be a bug. Who just added me? Was it Rengar? It is Rengar. Oh, God. Is he going to flame me? Should I accept him to see if he flames me? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh god, please don't play me. We're gonna open with a nice neutral hay. Oh, he's already he's offline. Did he did he already remove me from his friends? He's already removed me. Oh well, that's that's not nice. Oh. Well that's boring. Well thanks for watching the video guys. Thumbs up if you liked it. You can subscribe to me for more. Let me know what other kind of champions you want to see me play as well, because I'm down to do loads of different stuff. I played Fizz Jungle the other day. I've been doing some Shaco. Uh, just loads of things. You know, meta stuff, but also more fun stuff too. So let me know what you want to see, and I will definitely uh, read your suggestions and see what you're fancy. But yeah, that's all from me, guys. Goodbye from me. I would say goodbye from Shadwell, but he's downstairs, so he's not here. But I'm sure he says goodbye as well, and I'll see you in my next video.